Legion, it's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris. Distant stars in our Dynastic Divinity series. This is the Toram system, one of the more interesting trinary star systems in the uh, area that we're now trying to settle. I'm going to jump to speed two or three as we uh, kick things off. We're just trying to colonize this section of space. Hang on. As quickly as possible. And I can go... I can go ahead and build some additional star bases now that that's done. We have a science ship exploring up this direction. Currently uh, investigating Sidor 2, but the then we're going to investigate all of those wisdom. systems. Improved Titan hulls, very good. Let's see what else we have. Megastructure restoration, yeah. We're going to need to work on that because we have a ring world in our territory. Is there another one that's worth going for before that, or should I go ahead and... No, I think I should go ahead and do System that. Because we do have a ring world that's up here in... Um, I believe Srudma, is it? Yeah, Srudma. Nice ruined ring world for us to uh, set back up. Grey Goo, after detailed analysis, Officer Pudrig Denharak has discovered that the strange metallic substance coating the surface of Sidor 2 is in fact comprised of billions upon billions of nanites. These nanites are microscopic, self-replicating micromachines, perhaps created by a past civilization for some unknown purpose. The volume and density of this nanite sludge is remarkable, adding billions of tons of mass to the underlying planet. It would appear these tiny self-replicators entered a state of runaway reproduction at some point in the past, engulfing the planet and everything on it. Wow. In studying the nanites, the crew has made some exciting new findings that will undoubtedly aid us in our research. So we are getting the assembly the algorithms technology, which wisdom. does what? Oh, nice. Building build speed plus 10%. We are still... We have yet to colonize a couple of worlds here. We're going to have a new sector in this area that we're building up. So all of that is good. All right, so we're going to need to capture the Avalon system right now, as well as Clea. Looks like we are already building that research station. Special project complete. Aha! Dragon's Horde, Dragon Reborn. A dragon roars. Check it out. We have an Aether Drake. It's an immature Aether Drake. So I'm assuming it will grow up at some point. The only downside to this thing... Is it possible for me to look at the... No. Yeah, I, I can't... Even though it's my ship, I can't look at, like, what... Well, I, I guess I can look at its ship modifiers here. Hang on. No, these are modifiers. I just want to see, like, speed. Because I'm pretty sure this thing's going to be slower than the rest of my fleets. But still, it's pretty cool that I have it. So... Task Force Marasma, I believe, has a Titan on the way? Or are we still building the Titan? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's actually the Titan. The Titan shipyards are done. Titan foundry has been constructed. So that's good news. Let's let things run a little while longer. We are very close to uh, not having any more real expansion to do. Complete. Now, why are you not already building a star base? The spirits base? have granted us new wisdom. Okay, chemical bliss. Not really going to use that, but we've got it now. Habitability plus five. Might be time for that. Yeah, let's do that. System survey complete. Okay, so we have room for a couple of extra stations. And one thing I'm going to do really quickly is order a few new ones. One there, and also one in a very, very important system. The Terminal Egress. We're going to get a Citadel going there as soon as possible. Now, it looks like we lost a few ambitions. Which ones? Scientific Revolution and Omnifarious Acquisition. We need Omnifarious back. We have, like... Yeah, the cost settings we're using for this campaign are making keeping Unity edicts, I have to say, a little bit too easy. I love it. It's awesome. But complete. it's a little bit different from the other series we've done on the channel recently in Apocalypse, Final Federation, and um, High Dominion. A little bit different. All right, let's get that starbase built, because those, re those research points are uh, pretty appealing. And then we're finally surveying out here. Construction are all complete. of my science ships doing stuff? They are. Anomaly found. Oh wow, that was fast. Optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Merik C2. It could be buildings. Check it out. All right, the Ridgen Station. Uh, just do a resource silo. That's fine. You're way out there. 
middle of nowhere. Massage black okay. hole, same thing, right? Yep. Construction complete. Construction complete. Now you are, yeah, good lord. A lot of um, command points to put one of these in a fleet, so Construction it's going to have to be with, um, I think, Task Force Bosca. All right, nothing going on there. We have ancient mining drones System still in Samnivik. How did I miss that? All right, well, after the ship upgrades are done, we're going to have to send them back. Alien barracks. The silhouettes discernible from orbit are indeed buildings, and closer inspection revealed them to be of an, of an obvious martial nature. Okay, this Situation is the old alien barracks event. We haven't seen it yet in this series, but we've seen it lots on the channel. This is one of the ones that would, re would repeat over and over and over and over and over again in uh, more vanilla Stellaris System games. System survey complete. Hey, uh, what you guys doing? Okay, so... Do you not have the command limit? You should. Construction complete. It's already at full strength. I'm seeing 168 of 200 here. Let's send the Ether Hatchling this way and see if he'll join up with the fleet. Special project complete. All right, got military theory. Oh my gosh! All right, so we have a great con for the first time in recorded history. The warring factions of the Pujjak have united under a single complete. great con. This mysterious warlord, who according to some accounts is a powerful psychic, has emerged from their warrior caste and accomplished what most thought impossible. Through a combination of guile, charisma, and military genius, the newly crowned Great Khan has won the utter loyalty and devotion of the Pujjak factions. Now that they are no longer busy killing each other, the Pujjak are turning their attention elsewhere. Great fleets are massing from war, crewed by eager warriors who are now steadfast comrades in arms despite having been mortal enemies mere months ago. A new threat is born. I am Gordrig Den Armok, Great Khan of the Pujak Horde, and I'm here to announce the galaxy that a new age is upon us. Okay, we watched this just recently in um, High Dominion. If you oppose us, the Pujak Horde will grind you into dust. Strong word. System so, something tells me they're not going to last. Because they're, that's literally just those guys right there. All right, energy weapon damage plus 5% has been unlocked. We do need to unlock the resource replicator. Let's go ahead and do that. You need to hurry up with your upgrades. Complete. You know what? Stop. Let me give the or Yeah. Why do they... Complete. Okay, I guess Pesh makes sense. I'm just like... I'm trying to figure out... I guess there's not a station... Did they come back through uh, Brune, Brune Singularity, maybe? Is that why they're there? I guess they did. They're, yeah, that's right. They used the L gate to jump around, weirdly. It's really strange. Right, let's go ahead and do these upgrades. System survey complete. Let's get that starbase built. I mean, we've got this territory locked down now, which is great. <laughs> okay, so the Great Khan's already been complete. defeated. That's not name that's not worth naming an episode after now, is it? That's hilarious. Alright, now we have one system here. Those upgrades are happening, then we're gonna send our ships right back to deal with the hostile fleets. We could have sent Task Force Uraka in the meantime. Matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and do that? Where is Uraka? Uraka's in Tem. Bosca's here in Pesh. Let's see if they'll actually fly together now. What is the deal here? System survey complete. I'm super confused. All right, I guess we'll just have the Ether Hatchling follow Task Force Bosco around. No, not Marasma. Bosca. Marasma's here, and they just finished their upgrade. So if that's the way it is, I'll have them follow Marasma around. We'll have two large... I mean, this 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 will just be a massively powerful fleet, but I kind of like that idea. 
other than having a company one of the other ones. We'll build titans for the other ones eventually. Okay, go to Samnovic. Construction complete. It's a good ways away. I'm glad they added that little timer. It's just, from what I understand, it's an estimate, but it's still so useful to be able to see just how the far you have to go. Have granted us new wisdom. Have they? Good. Habitability plus five and... I'm going to get habitability modification just to knock it out. Get it off the list. Trying to capture all this as soon as possible. System survey complete. The Holy Miravandia and the United Avarian Confederacy are definitely surveying systems, so I just don't want them to get ahead of me in any way. I can't remember, did what did I send one of those to Rathir already? I don't think so. And then you're in a jaundice. Let's get Toram first. Construction we have some new complete. colonizing to do too, especially with uh, Shetty 3. May as well go ahead and queue this up. Let's colonize from... Where should we colonize from? The Vale? Yep. Or we could colonize from using our... Yeah, it might be better to colonize... using one of these pops. They're on the veil, so. All right. And you guys do... We might need to modify these pops a little bit if we can. But for now, let's just land you... Oh, so many tile blockers. That makes it a difficult decision. Um, I don't need the food. Let's land you there. Shetty Prime. We're going to... Yeah. Arganira is going to be the name of this colony. It's fine by me. Mining stations and research station. So nice that we have System survey will to power going. Bringing in a ton of additional influence. Everyone's saying that I got really, really lucky with the, uh, the L cluster, evidently. All right, so second onslaught. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be defeated in just the same way. But yeah, the L cluster uh, might send something mean against me, but I'm really at this point just preparing for the end game, and we're gonna take this territory and start thinking more seriously about vassalizing some of our neighbor empires through one means or another. <laughs> Ruined Worlds, the HSV Wimdor crew have reported the presence of decaying orbital stations in multiple tomb worlds near the Stebnar system. What appears to have been a collapsed ruin long ago. Heavy Anchor is a... Hang on, where are you? Oh, cool. Is a junkyard of a planet covered in the irradiated, rusting remnants of demolished buildings, infrastructure, and vehicles. No higher forms of life are recognizable. You might gain more insight into this lost civilization by surveying any similar planets in this and neighboring systems. All right, so we've just discovered, I guess, complete. our first tomb world somehow in the Albathari Empire, and they've they've uh, colonized it. So I guess they're intrigued complete. by that to a certain degree. Oh, that's annoying. There's a little hole System in our territory. Survey complete. Construction I don't necessarily complete. know that anything will fill that. Let's get these stations built. <laughs> Starbase here. Yep, our influence gain is outpacing the rate at which we are building new stations. New it's working out pretty well. Alright, habitability modification is done. I mean, I could go ahead and go for hydroponics farm 4 and 5, and that would increase my growth bonus, which wouldn't be the worst thing. We're about to do a lot of colonizing, so let's... 
Cue that up. All right, the Vortechnocracy has opened their borders to us. Let's open our borders to them. Let's be diplomatic. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Massive storms are visible in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. It might be worth the effort to study them in more detail. It's going to take literally 25 days because we've got a very skilled scientist in the area. System survey complete. All right, let's get a jaundice. Okay, we've got some Grocknaplorin refugees. They've settled on Istria. I think those... Construction mm, complete. Pretty sure that those might be our first Grocknaplorin, maybe. Rothier 1 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 meters per second. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent as we have found nothing in the planet's climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this anomaly. Incoming transmissions. We have here. Minerals for monthly aurelium ore. Sure. Question is, where is Task Force Marasma? They're right there. Okay, good. Ether Drake following right behind, hopefully. And we do have a few colonizable tomb worlds now, it looks like. We haven't even researched tomb world habitability yet. All right, so now we can start restoring that ring world as well. So that could be our new core system. And it'll be huge for us, actually. If it's anything like... Well, it won't be anything like the ring worlds that we got in High Dominion towards the end. Those were incredible. So nothing that good. Mm, let's go ahead and do Devastator Torpedoes. Or let's do the Stormfire Auto Cannon. That'll be done a little sooner. And then can I go ahead and start on this? I should be able to. Yep, 20,000. Do it. And we should be able to research another core world complete. soon to actually allow us to exploit that. Mining station, research station, starbase. We're in the process of finally surveying these last systems. Doesn't look like they have a construction ship in the area, System so I'm not complete. feeling particularly threatened. Construction complete. Oh, physics research. Gateway construction. Very nice. It's probably going to be time. Let's go ahead and do that. About bloody time. I was, I was wondering when that tech would show up, and I was even wondering if it would show up at all, given our choices of ascension perks. Let's upgrade all of these. And then this is one of our new Grocknaplorin pops. Have we done, uh... No, we haven't done land clearance here yet, so we will have room for additional stuff. I've got a, um, Paradise Dome that I want to build on this world. Ooh. Mineral processing plant there. Going to replace the food. Don't need the extra food. Especially given the upgrade we've got coming up. Oh, wow. This plant's not putting out a lot of power, is it? We can fix that by doing an energy grid. Well, see, here's the thing. With it not putting out a lot of power, the energy grid could potentially... This would be what? Let's actually do the math. We don't have the nexus unlocked yet, so eventually the nexus... Why don't we have the nexus unlocked yet? That's strange. Okay, so let's assume we never have more than the 10% boost. Total energy output is... Looks like 21 at the moment. I could put a power plant down on that final tile and up that to 25. So we would get a plus 2.5 boost on top of the... Yeah... It would actually be slightly better. Tell you what, let's go ahead and do the energy grid because it's very close. I'm going to do the energy grid there. The power plant there. Now, someone had made a suggestion. I want to check on this. All 
Alright, do we have to colonize this? We might be able to terraform this into... We, we don't have Gaia terraforming. Yeah, see, that's what we're not going to be able to do. Someone had asked if I could terraform that and then make it into, like, a holy world. System survey complete. We don't have Gaia terraformation. We didn't go that route. And I do... Yeah. We went for one vision for the final ascension perk to boost complete. our unity, which is one of the reasons we have so much access to these, to the unity ambitions. You want gray dust, huh? What would that give you? Better terraforming? And you're going to give me lots of minerals for it? You know what? Okay. This is going to help you build things a little faster. All right. You guys are on the way down. <laughs> We actually did send a construction ship to Rothair. I thought we did. I was really thinking I had. Now I can send one to Sisaja. Construction complete. Get a starbase built there. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. The atmosphere of Sisaja 3 is reflecting our sensors at radio frequencies. Something down there is interfering with our signals. Alright, so we have a few more areas to scan. We also have to scan Samnovic, of course. It might be that we hadn't... We might not have been able to build the Nexus on that planet yet because of the... Yeah, that's what it was. That makes a lot of sense. Let's get the energy grid there. It might have just been... Do I have the Nexus here? Yeah, of course I do. All right, it was just what was available on that planet. That explains it. All right, world to power went away. Let's go ahead and bring that back. Because God knows it's not difficult. Mega structure build speed. Let's do that too. If that helps towards the restoration of the ring world that I'm working on, then so be it. Heavy metal frost. Boasting a scorching surface temperature in an atmosphere of corrosive mineral acids, Sasaja 3 possesses extreme weather conditions responsible for reflecting certain bandwidths of electromagnetic radiation. Heavy metal compounds heated in the planet's troposphere rise in gaseous form to high elevations, whereupon they rapidly cool, solidify, and rain back down to the surface. Simply put, it snows metal on the surface of Sisaja 3. Interesting. System survey complete. During its survey of Aospone 3, the HSV Cordurion discovered large deposits of various rare terraforming fluids. Access to these fluids would greatly assist the process of terraforming plants. We have the technology. If we control the system, we can extract this resource. Well, that system's a good ways away right now, so... Controlling it could be a challenge. Construction complete. The Zin Empire can now use the ideology Cassus Belli against us. So it looks like there is a federation Incoming transmission. over here that could be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> You want gray dust too, huh? I mean, I have lots of gray dust, so it makes perfect sense that they would want this. This is These are large amounts of minerals. Sure. Construction. Marasma, where the hell are you? Okay, there you are. Getting close. Science ship is almost to Sinigawa. Construction complete. <laughs> System survey complete. The non-believers are fighting amongst themselves. There's been lots of fighting in this series, just not against us. Okay, let me check on my star bases really quickly. These Citadel upgrades are... Well, you know what I can do? Is I can go ahead and start building stuff on this thing. And then I can queue up the Citadel upgrade. So target uplink computer. Defense grid supercomputer. I'm going to do communications jammer. And I can potentially add more. And then the Sagathia starbase. Let's first talk to the artisan troop here. We want to invest in a, military, in a ministry of culture. I didn't realize we didn't have that already. All right, so with that option, I can now get the art college. That's a lot of extra unity for me. 
And I can also do a resource silo, and we'll look at other stuff to do soon enough. Now I could do also a, um, oh, we need a trader enclave to do trader hubs. Okay, whatever. All right, so what was I... Let's take a quick look at Srubma, because this is where we're really building this section. All right, 2,115 days. All right, so the Ministry of Culture is available to me. What would that do? Yeah, that's additional unity. Ah, uh, see? If I had remembered that we had not had this. This is like a duplicate of the last Ascension perk that we went. Maybe I would have went for a different Ascension perk. I need to remember that this is in the game more often and you almost always have access to it. Know what I mean? Hmm. I don't like really any of these options. I could do away with a Paradise Dome here. Yeah, let's do away with a Paradise Dome. Don't need one of those on Old Orin. At this point, we don't, anyway. I mean, good lord. Now what? Hang on. There's a modifier on Eulassia. That's right, Alien Studies. Oh, that's amazing. Complete. It's not really that helpful. Construction complete. But it got visited by the enigmatic... Um, enigmatic something, not cash. Or was it the enigmatic cash earlier in the series? All right, we, we need to add a core sector system for the ring world, but we don't necessarily need to, like, yet. We could potentially do something else first. The food plus 15% is possibly a very good idea to continue adding to what we just did, which I'm going to I'm gonna queue these upgrades up now. So we're going to see our food bonus go from 133. Before we end the episode, I'm going to let all these things build so that we can see the difference. There's that. Heretic fleet engaged. Finally. Construction complete. Pirates aren't gonna last long. Yep, pirates are already dead. Have granted us new this is actually a massive system. Stormfire auto cannon. Ooh, we can do advanced Titan hulls. Let's go ahead and go for Marauder missiles, though. And then you need to go get your upgrades. So get moving, please. I don't know if the Ether Drake even participated in that battle. Ether Drake, where are you, dude? They're slow. Yeah, they're way back here. Yeah, that was exactly what I was afraid of. Let's get a Starbase built there. And those are already good. So where's that science ship now? You're going to survey Sinagawa. Then you're going to survey that system. Then you're going to auto-explore again. Perfect. All right, now let's let all these upgrades on the core worlds happen. Construction yeah, you can complete. see our food skyrocketing. Pop growth is at 156. So at the, the percent bonus is equivalent to... Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Migration treaty proposal from the Zin Empire, Federation Builders. Um... You know what? Sure. Oh, did they get um, vassalized by... Let's take a look. Oh, no, they're Federation members. They're, they're a member of the Mirov Compact. System survey so the Mirov complete. Compact actually controls a good amount of territory. Complete. But they are now a little bit friendlier to us as a result of that change. It's cool that we have such open borders. It's, it's, a, it's a very kind of complete. Final Federation vibe. Complete. We have a number of worlds to colonize, too. Lest System we forget. Survey complete. All right, so we're up to 173. Complete. Oh, just kidding. 180. And we can still upgrade this to a Nexus. But now we have a 180% pop growth bonus. Now that's only on two planets where population is growing, but there's it's about to be a lot more. Because in the next episode, we are going to establish this as a new sector. Finish building this up. And uh, at the same time, we also can go ahead and get our citadels up and running in uh where are you where's the terminal egress station 
yeah, this thing is still building. So it's got a lot of work to do. But once that's ready to be fully upgraded to a Citadel, we'll build some defense platforms and really have that entire system ready to defend itself. And then it's just a matter of uh, starting to vassalize some of our uh, some of our friends. We can also eliminate the um, these guys. We we could eliminate the uh, the Oginolox destroyers. We could do that fairly quickly uh, and beat the Theklok to it and kind of control this territory, which could come in handy. So I might consider that if we don't have a clear vassalization target next episode. But I'll stop this one here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.